this is your host again, Natanya with The Glam Life, where I'll be providing complete beauty tips, techniques, and testimonials to reveal the glam in you. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to get ready when you're in a rush, so how to maximize that look with limited time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. My goal today is to have my hair and makeup done within 20 minutes or less. So basically, um, when you're in a rush and want to do your makeup and still want to go out looking good, there are some tips that you can take and some rows that you can take to maximize that look. Now, I recommend that you use um, foundations that pretty much provided full coverage. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. One's in the shade 338 Spicy Brown, and the other one's in the shade 360 Mocha. Now, I'm taking the lighter shade and going over my T-zone area. Let's just go ahead and get started. And as you all see, I'm still using the dabbing motion in effect. And for this video, my face has already been prepped and primed. That's why you all may see the, the whiteness on my face because I had a primer already prior to this video primer on. So I actually do have somewhere I got to be within the next hour or so. So I thought this would be the perfect time for me to film this. Now, as you all see, I'm still using a dabbing motion in effect. And I recommend you using foundations that have full coverage because you don't have to reapply in certain areas where you may have your imperfections. That'll go ahead and get it covered in one coat. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the lighter shade and go on my chin area. In a rush, in a rush. And I'm just going to go over with the darker shade and the mocha. Shake it up. And the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless is great if you have oily skin. I've actually gotten um, almost 24 hour wear out of it. I know some of y'all may be asking who wears their makeup for 24 hours. Well, I do with the kind of days that I have. It would just run together between my work schedule, church schedule, school schedule, home schedule, mommy schedule, all kind of schedule, wife schedule. It tends to run that way. So I'm basically taking a lighter shade and going over with the outer skirts. And I pretty much use this same technique in my foundation um, routine and a review on the Maybelline Liquid Dream Mousse. Make sure you blend up under your chin because again, you don't want to make it seem like you put a mask on and you see it does give pretty uh, decent coverage I'm gonna go over my face now with a highlighter and I'm going to take the uh, Wet n Wild um, Correction Concealer in the shade You Are a Natural and basically just put it on up under my eyes. Down my nose in the center of my chin. And reason being, um, you want to do this because this highlights those areas. And this is key when you're in a rush. Because you always want to make it look like your face has a radiant complexion and glow. And these shades and the concealer is what I picked up in my 
get gorgeous on a dime video i encourage you to check out that video on how i was able to limit my spending maximize the dollar and increase my beauty product stash that's an excellent video when you are don't have a whole lot of money to spend or you're on a budget you can still get those beauty products that can enhance your look without breaking the bank so just pretty much dabbing this in blending is key blending is key ladies And as you all see with that concealer, it highlighted up under my eyes and in the center part of my face where I wanted it at. Now, I'm just about to go over with two shades of powder to set. This one is um, in the black opal in the shade deep. And I'm going to go back over it with the Maybelline Shine Control in the shade medium. So shake it up, get my handy dandy powder brush. And where I first apply the powder at, ladies, is where I get the most oil because I want to make sure those areas are set to increase that um, sticking and staying power. Still apply those techniques when you apply your foundation, even though you're in a rush. So go ahead and make sure you have a good primer, follow with a um, more of a um, mattifying foundation that's a fuller coverage. So um, you don't have to build it up. It automatically covers what you need it to cover. And that highlight will enhance those features that you need to be in, that needs to be enhanced. All right, so I'm about to go over with the lighter shade up under my eyes. Because remember, we are in a rush. So you do have limited timing. Take my powder puff. And on a side note, make sure you all are taking care of your skin because even though makeup pretty much enhances and covers your imperfections you still want to make sure that you are taking care of that skin so i have some excellent videos that i'll be coming out with and i have two that are currently out on how to remove your makeup and also a diy facial steam cleanse at home All right, so that's pretty much done. Now I'm about to do my eyes and I recommend that you prime the eye. So I'm gonna take the Black Radiance um, eyeshadow primer and reason being it helps to cut the creasing of your eyeshadow and also makes the uh, pigmentation of the eyeshadow um, become more uh, pigmented where you ab you're able to see the color. And I'm just taking a small concealer brush and just applying it. Because while you're in a rush, ladies, brushes are key. You can use your fingers. I mainly use my fingers while I'm to do this, but being that I'm in a rush, the brush makes the application so much smoother and faster. And be careful around the eye area. You don't want to dab yourself in the eye or poke yourself in the eye with your utensils while you are rushing. Safety is key. 
All right, so basically, when you're in a rush, you don't want to use eyeshadows. The two things that I use is highlighters and bronzers on my eye. So I'm going to go in with my eye first with this bronzer right here, a very pretty bronzy color. So I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush and the bronzer and the highlighter is just supposed to pretty much make your eyes stand out. And you all can see with my right eye and my left eye the difference already. Just going with my left eye. Just building it up. And now I'm going to take my highlighter and put it over my brown bone. And this is the Avon Smooth Minerals Highlighter. It's an excellent um, highlighter. I'm just going to go over my brow bone with this. And you all see the difference with my right eye and my left eye. Just, just applying those two things on the um, the difference that it made right there. It just made a huge difference. And one thing about it, if you put too much on, like I did with this eye or mess up, you can just go on with your powder brush and it won't affect the color of it. So the um, one thing about getting ready in a rush, the techniques that I'm using allows for you to correct if you mess up along the way. Right now, I'm gonna go and I uh, line my eyes in the um, Wet n Wild Carbon My Reach. It's a little applicator that comes with it. Now, I do recommend that you practice this if you are not used to using like liquid liners or eyeliners that have a wand. Um, if you're used to using a pencil, do use the pencil. But one thing I like about these, they're they're a little bit more safer than the pencil because I had a piece of wood chip one time get in my eye and thank you jesus i'm not blind so from there that day forward i just started using liners either that was liquid or with an applicator and as you see with my right eye just the difference from me putting the liner the highlighter and the bronzer from my left eye that simple tip right there just enhances your look going over with my left eye now And again, practice is key with this. Because you have to have a steady hand. We don't want you in a rush hurting yourself. And I want to go up under my lower lash line. All right, ladies, my eyes are pretty much complete. I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder and go back up under my eye area. My nose. Because the features that you're really trying to enhance are your eyes, your cheeks, and your lips. 
And I'm going to do my cheeks now with this uh, Black Radiance um, color in the uh, shade Caramel. It's like a bronzy tone, excuse me. Very pretty um, bronzy tone color. So just smile when I go on my cheek. And lastly, lips. I'm going to take a basic uh, black lip liner and, well, eyeliner, excuse me, and line my lip. And go back over it with a shade the lip liner in port now i get these liners out of the sally beauty supply they're always on sale oh my phone is dinging oh well as you all see i'm in a rush so that's why i'm trying to hurry and get this done And you see how the um, black liner helps that color to stand out. That's one reason why I always line my lips with black first, because it helps that um, shade that I'm going for to stand out so much more. And I'm just going to fill this in with um, Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade. Uh, Pink Frost. And lastly is my hair. Now, I recommend that you put your hair up at night. Like for me, being that I am a natural, I put my hair in twists. Um, some of you all may utilize the pineapple method. If you have relaxed hair, you may either wrap it or um, ponytail it. But that's also key as well to making sure you get your, you um, when you're in a rush, so you don't have to uh, spend excess time doing hair. Make sure you put your hair up the night before. Um, so it makes it so much easier with the takedown of it in the morning. So you don't have to spend excess time, you know, getting ready and stuff. And still be gentle. You don't want to tangle your hair or mess up your, tress, your tresses while getting ready so still be gentle um, I put this mini twist in here. And if you have to go over your edges, a good edge control is the uh, softy mango butter. So I'm just going to take this and go over my edges to lay down those edges. And there you have it, ladies, a 
simple uh, look when you're in a rush. The key thing is that you want to make sure you use foundations that provide a fuller coverage, followed by bronzers and highlighters. And also make sure that your hair is prepped the night before. I pray that this has helped, even encouraged and inspired you that you can still look your best with limited time. Ladies, be blessed and be glamorous.